it hasn't had <laughs> coolant touching that letter F probably in, I don't know, six or seven years for all I know. Goodness gracious. I'm so sorry, Evelyn. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Hey guys, half click up here. Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you with another maintenance video, another uh, how to on the Yamaha FZ6R. Today we're going to do a coolant flush. And not only are we going to do a coolant flush, we're going to uh, we're going to go ahead and swap over to engine ice. We've got uh, two jugs of engine ice. Oh, and we also have a uh, gallon of you know just purified drinking water. They say to use distilled for this solution, but shit, guys, water is water, right? And uh, we got some distilled white vinegar. Now, here's the situation. Um, this is a 2009 model FZ6R. I purchased this bike with 11,000 miles on it, and uh, the service manual calls for the coolant to be flushed every... Uh, 24,000 miles or two years, whichever comes first. Now, when you consider that I purchased the bike with 11,000 miles on it, odds are the two owners prior to me never changed the fluid, right? Never, uh, never flushed out the coolant. So, what we have here is essentially 10 year old coolant in this bike. And uh, it's not to say that the bike's ever overheated. Um, I believe the highest I've ever witnessed sitting in traffic was like 216 but uh, the fans kick on at 214, so, I mean, it's never gotten any hotter than that, and, uh, and like I said, I've never had any overheating issues, but, I mean, here we are, we are, like, daily riding this thing, we're commuting on it, um, I've been commuting on this bike almost every day for almost four years now, and uh, it's just time, guys, so let's do it, and let's do it right. Now, what I mean by let's do it right is, considering that this is 10-year-old coolant in this bike, we need to flush it correctly. And the way you do that is just like when you clean a coffee maker with a water vinegar solution. So what I'm gonna do, uh, after we drain the fluid, I am going to pour half of this jug through the system and let it come out the bottom, kind of, you know, flush it out, as you will. And uh, then I'm going to fill the rest of it back up to the top with vinegar and we'll give it a little shake. And uh, that'll be our vinegar water solution for purposes of cleaning the coolant system, right? This, uh, this vinegar, just like in a coffee maker, we're gonna put it in there, we're gonna crank the bike and let the bike come up to temperature, and uh, then we're gonna shut it down, let it cool, and drain it all out again. Then, finally, we'll come back with the engine ice and uh, fill her up and she'll be good to go uh, from that point on. Now, I've done the, uh, the preliminary stuff here. You see she's all undressed. We got her skirt pulled off. Um, here's the thing. Hang on. Let me oh, make myself some room. So, you may be asking yourself, you see, all the fairings are off. And so, I kind of dug around in here before I uh, hit record, right? Because I, like with all of my maintenance videos, guys, I've said it before. You looked at my, uh, if you've looked at my brake maintenance uh, vlogs and stuff, you know, I, I learn as I go. You know, this is going to be my first time ever uh, doing a coolant flush and coolant swap on the FZ6R. So you guys are coming along with me uh, for a first time kind of deal. Now, with all that being said, I went ahead and uh, kind of did a preliminary glance, if you will, into what all this is going to entail. And so, uh, one of the first steps is you want to get the reservoir off the bike, right? What that consists of uh, is pulling this little reservoir guide. Can you see? There you, there you go. Well, you probably can't see it. There's a little reservoir, like an overflow guide. A little tube comes down here. We're going to pull that out of its little holder. Then you have to undo this bolt here. And there's a 10 millimeter bolt right in there. And it is perfectly centered behind this collector tube. And there's no way to get any kind of tool, at least that I own, onto that damn nut in there. So uh, 
I decided I would take the other fairing off and just see how that's going to work out. And sure enough, um, that's exactly what it's going to take. You see here, let's see. We are going to come in completely from the side, right? We're going to come in from the side and it's going to allow us to access that bolt right here. Can you see that? It's the only way, guys. <laughs> I, I tried all kind of little uh, socket extension combinations, this, that, and the other, and uh, none of that worked. So I was like, screw it. It takes all of a minute, 30 seconds to remove the fairing. So uh, off she came. So now the bike's completely naked um, for purposes purely and only of getting to that stupid little bolt. So anyways, uh, that bolt comes out. And again... Um, this bolt comes out and all that does is release the protective cover which is metal all right this little metal cover comes off and that reveals the uh, reservoir underneath and then we are going to pop the cap off tip the reservoir over and uh, get the coolant out of it now another thing I don't know if you can see this yeah you can L for low, F for full. I don't see anything in there. I mean, granted, it, it might just be dirty, but I don't see any <laughs> any level of fluid in there at all. It, maybe once we get the cover off, we'll see. It might be right there. I'm not entirely sure. But if it is, guys, that shit is low, right? 10 years worth of coolant flowing through the motor and, uh, you know, I guess some of it has uh, gone away, right? But we're going to get that cover off. We're just going to... Whew! Man, I'm out of breath. <laughs> we're we're going to get that cover off of there and uh, see what we're working with, see if there's anything at all in the reservoir, and uh, we'll go from there. So now, yeah. guys, as we dive off into this, I'm going to go ahead and apologize. Um, I don't know what kind of angles and stuff, what kind of shots I'm going to be able to get because my tripod kind of fell apart on me and uh all right there we go can't uh can't see nothing down in there <laughs> dude this this system very well may be absolutely low in coolant uh anyways yeah so i don't have a tripod um so I, i'll just do this as best i can it's pretty straightforward though guys um we'll start by <sighs> pulling this tube up and out of this guide. Voila, that's out of the way. And uh, let's see. This is a 14 millimeter. Right, 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 right. Yep. Okay, so that's one cover bolt. And it looks like uh, not only does it hold the cover, but you see I can wiggle the reservoir now. So apparently that also holds the uh, reservoir in place. So let's go around the other side here. Oh, goodness. I don't even know how I'm going to do this, y'all. <laughs> I probably could have my kid come out and hold the camera, but it would be an act of Congress to successfully explain to him where I need him to point the camera. So we're going to just not do that. I think you can see that pretty good though. Here we go. Ugh. Not easy to get to guys. I can't imagine doing this any other way though. You've got to take this fairing off to get to that. It's just one of those things, you know? I'll tell you what the bigger trick's gonna be is getting that damn bolt back in there. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, so what I'm doing now is I'm actually, I've got the collector tube, see that, in my grasp, and I'm extending my thumb and middle finger forward to where I can turn that bolt manually, and it is not easy to do, y'all. Ah, I guess what do you expect for a, a bolt that hasn't turned in 10 years, right? Alright, there she is. Looks like it's just going to want to 
fall out of there. Ah, it's hung up on something. There we go. All right. Oh, let's get this out of here. Oh. What is that? Orange Loctite or rust? <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's survey the damage. So what we're left with is the cover. And I'm trying to, uh, so the cover and the reservoir are actually, what, like connected together? How's that work? Well, we're learning together here, guys. Pardon me, we're learning together. I, I can't really tell, y'all, and it doesn't really matter. What does matter, though, is that we get this in a position where we can actually, uh, tip it over and get the stuff out of it. Stand right, by. So there's a little pinch, uh, this little bar pinch tab here, whatever, uh, that is through the hole on this tab that holds that together. That was the final link in the puzzle to uh, get this to release. So I just took a little pair of uh, needle nose and squeezed on this guy here and uh, it came right off. So here she is in all her glory. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Come on, baby. Out of there. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's take a look at what we have going on here, guys. Can you? There's the fluid. See it? See the L? Not good. Holy moly. And dude, it's like black. Let me stick my own eyeball down there. It's got kind of a rotten smell to it. Um, I guess it's really dark green is what it is. I wonder if it was like fluorescent green to start out with, man. Either way, we, uh, we clearly have been operating with very low fluid. I mean, obviously, I guess the radiator is still full. I don't know, but... Uh, yeah, that's for sure. We were low in coolant, boys and girls. Wow, okay. Yeah. I mean, you can just tell how old that is, right? Golly. Nasty. Yeah. I'll be rinsing that thing out. I can see some... You see that debris down in there? Yeah, we're gonna have to flush that out too, man. There's no telling how much of that junk is all up in the uh, coolant passages. So, it is just detrimental, you guys, that we uh, go on and do the whole uh, water vinegar solution flush, because that's bad. That's uh, 10 years of bad. Okay, now here, here's another little uh, bonus find, man. So look at the pickup tube. Look at the pickup tube that sits in the uh, coolant. What is that? What is that? Let's see. It's got a texture to it. That looks wet, but it's not wet. It's, what is that just, wow. Is that from heat? I don't know. I mean, if we were gonna do this 100% correctly and by the book, we would probably replace that. But, uh, I don't know. That would set us back, you know. <laughs> quite a bit of time we can't have the bike down like that guy so I guess we're gonna ignore this for now maybe revisit this some other day see about replacing that we'll probably just get the cap assembly that comes with the pickup tube and uh, do it that way some batch is probably about 85.99 though shit all right so here's our little drip pan setup this is your coolant drainage bolt on the uh, FZ6R, it is an eight millimeter. All right, first time that this bolt has been taken off, 
in 10 years. Let's see if I can't get a good purchase on it. Oh, shit. <laughs> right? So, I mean, it's got a decent green color to it, you know. I don't know if you would consider that dirty or not. <laughs> it's uh very creative. Maybe I'm gonna Yeah, that's way more manageable. We'll just let it ride, huh? Now there's a washer on here as well that we'll need to inspect. It bolts way longer than I expected. There we go. Oh, there's the rest of it. Okay. Washer looks good. Okay, so what next? Let's, uh, we'll go ahead and start uh, pouring our water, our fresh water down in there, and uh, let it come out of the passage. Let it run through the passages, and uh, we'll wait until that starts running clear, and uh, we can use up to half. Remember, oh, we can use up to half because we're gonna want half of it for the vinegar, make a 50-50 water vinegar solution. And uh, then we'll pour that in there. But we'll, uh, we'll of course cap it back, back off and uh, pour the water vinegar solution in there. Fill it up, fill the reservoir up, hook it back on, crank the bike, let it come up to temperature, and then we'll flush all that crap out too. So, all right, so, so without you. further ado, let's rock and roll, shall we? Okay. See how it's still green? We're gonna do this until it's uh, clear. I really need two hands to do this, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really need two hands to do this. And I really need a new tripod. All right, we'll be right back. All right, there you see she's running clean. Nothing but clear water coming out. We uh, use about half our jug as planned. Let's go ahead and create our 50-50 water and distilled vinegar solution. Okay. That's probably good enough. I'm just going to cap this off. Give it a bit of a shake. I don't know if this really matters, but it seems like you'd probably want it blended fairly well. Just, you know, a little agitated. <sighs> That'll probably do the trick. And, uh, okay, so now we're going to put our little drain bolt back in we are going to fill the radiator to the top we are going to clean that out first off that's what I need to do I need to run water through that reservoir and uh, so I'll come back with that already clean we'll remount the reservoir and uh, we'll start the bike let it come up to temp and uh, do it all over again and then finally put our engine ice in. Okay guys, and so where we're at now is uh, we got the drain bolt back in and I am just about topped up here. It's, uh, you know, she comes to the top and then kind of percolates on down. Just wanna let it sit, get all the bubbles out. I think that's it right there, guys. <laughs> Coincidentally, there it is. All right, Ooh, you can smell that vinegar too. It's got a stank to it. All right, so here we go. There she is. All right. Um, oh, and reservoir is temporarily loosely mounted back up just so that it sits level. So I've got the water vinegar solution inside the reservoir. Drain bolt is tightened back up. Radiator is full of vinegar water solution. And now, we let her idle. And so 
we're just gonna wait for that to come up to, uh, well, I don't know, maybe uh, about 150 degrees. I'm just pulling a number out of my ass, guys. We'll go with like 150. I don't want it to get too hot because then we'll have to wait a long time before we can take the cap back off because safety rule number one when it comes to removing radiator caps, do not ever remove it when the engine is hot. Bad things happen. It'll just ruin your day. So we'll be back once she's up to temp. We'll kill it and uh, let it cool just a bit and then drain her back out. You know what we should do? We should have a beer. Yep. Yeah. We should have a beer while we wait. Hmm. We can have Michelob Ultra or Michelob Ultra. That keto though, that keto lifestyle though. Yeah, buddy. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh yeah. What are we at, 145? Yeah, I don't want it to get too terribly hot. We'll be here all evening if we do. All right, so what was the point of that? Again, the point, okay, was the fact that the coolant has never been changed. The bike is 10 years old, um, 49,000 some odd miles on it now. And so the point of running a water vinegar solution and bringing it up to temperature is so that it gets all that debris, all that nastiness. Uh, I used the example earlier, a uh, coffee maker, an old coffee maker gets all the hard water stuff going on inside it you know and it'll make the coffee maker crap out um you run that water vinegar solution through here let it warm up a little bit and it'll theoretically break up all that stuff inside there we'll drain it all out then we'll pour some more in there just to you know continuously flush it out and uh once she's drained and, and clear we'll uh we'll go back and fill up the reservoir with engine ice and the radiator back up uh, with engine ice and we'll be done guys okay guys it's uh, just warm to the touch now so we should be able to safely do this I'm gonna kind of back up a little bit just in case just in case she is okay very little pressure sounded like opening a, uh, a can of soda not bad okay so there's our Man, I don't know if you can tell, but can you see how cloudy that is? How nasty? Dude, it really needed a flush. No doubt about it. Okay. Um, number eight millimeter. Number eight millimeter. <laughs> eight millimeter. Okay. Um, I also flipped this around because I think it's running. Yep, runs down that. It's going to... Never mind. <laughs> okay. Look at that. You know, interestingly, um, you can see how there's still green tint to that, man. That, uh, that goes to show you that this solution does get into all the passages. And, uh, in those passages, obviously, there was still old coolant. Look at that. Remember, you saw it was clear when we ran the flush through it with just water. Now we ran the water vinegar mix in there, let it heat up a little bit, and uh, sure enough, it's got a tint to it all over again. So, uh, again, it goes to show you the importance of actually doing this correctly and flushing your system. You don't want to still have old crap in there, man. You don't want to have old crap in there. Especially if you're going to switch to a premium product like uh, Engine Ice. And guys, also just for clarification, I did um, fill this jug up with straight tap water afterwards so that I can go ahead and get the uh, all of the water vinegar solution, vinegar solution out as well. 
So this is just straight tap water. Uh, that's about as clean as she's going to get, boys and girls. Time to cap it off. Get that reservoir filled up with some engine ice. Get the radiator filled up with engine ice. And uh, then button it all up, man. Okay, and that's all she wrote. We got the uh, reservoir. Good to go. See that fluid level there. Got it right on the F. It hasn't had <laughs> coolant touching that letter F probably in, I don't know, six or seven years for all I know. Goodness gracious. I'm so sorry, Evelyn. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Jeez. Okay. Well, let's get this back on the bike. And then uh, when I come back, we'll be dumping the rest of that engine ice into the radiator. And we're going to have to tap into that one as well. The reservoir. So, yeah, right. Completely back in place. Secured. Good to go. See our coolant levels at the F for full. And uh, just a little bit of a pro tip, guys, before we move on. Um, when you put this pickup tube and cap back on the reservoir, make sure you kind of work your fingers around it because the cap is actually rubber. And what I found at first was uh, when I thought it was seated, it actually wasn't. And um, a little bit of the lip of the... Uh, reservoir spout you know like the the mouth of the jug uh it was actually showing on the edge there and so i, I kind of worked my fingers around it and rolled it all down and it actually gave a little bit of an audible not necessarily a, a click but you know uh, you could tell that it actually got secure so all we have left to do is uh fill up the radiator with engine ice Engine ice going in, baby. <laughs> there is no way to easily do this without a tripod, guys. I mean, geez, Louise. There we go. This this will work. It. Yeah. There we go. Let's spill it everywhere too, while we're at it. That way we can waste as much as possible. That's what we want to do. Okay. It's got a nice blue color to it too, man. Having a uh, an appreciation for colors, you know? Like that blue. You know, interestingly, you can see the level. It's not it's supposed to take uh well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll let it burp for a second. And, uh, but it looks like we might get away with, uh, somehow using this one job. You know, for the longest time, I, uh, I avoid it. In fact, it, go look at my previous vlogs. There's one where the uh, the thumbnail is actually of this with that. I can't do this with <laughs> with that circled. And I was highlighting the fact that it wasn't quite enough to uh, fill up both the radiator and the reservoir. But looking at it right now, for some reason, it's there. I mean. You know? <laughs> Whatever, man. I guess it is what it is. Um, tell you what, what we'll do, and, and I'll do this after the fact, completely off camera, because this is just to show you guys um, how to change the coolant on the FZ6R. You know, the order of operations. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead and cap it off, and uh, I'm going to crank the bike up and let it come up to temperature. And then I'm gonna come back after it cools off and I'm gonna check it and see if, uh, if it, any of it found its way down. That is that. Pretty straightforward. Something tells me this vlog probably ended up being a little bit longer than it really uh, needed to be. But 
you know me guys you, if you've seen my uh my other fz6r maintenance vehicle uh vehicles <laughs> maintenance vlogs uh you know that i'm pretty thorough i like to point out every little thing that i'm encountering look at this man you know it doesn't matter what or how expensive what kind how expensive of a glove you choose and these this is good stuff man these are the heavy duty gorilla grip things you know the, the, uh, the texture you know it's what you want I think it's a good glove every last one of them I don't care how thick they are they tear by the end of the job they're torn I don't know anyways guys this has been Half Quick Up with another Yamaha FZ6R maintenance vlog. Today's video was on a full coolant flush and swap to engine ice. If you have any questions about the process, um, anything I might have encountered that I didn't touch on here that you're curious about, drop a comment down below. Um, you can also email me, hcumotovlogs at gmail.com. Shoot me a message, drop me a line, and... Uh, and express your concerns or whatever. Did I screw up anything? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Shoot me an email. Whatever you got to do. Smash the like button. Thumbs up. Yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you're an FZ6R rider and uh, you appreciate, you know, the processes of all the different mods, the maintenance videos and stuff. Go ahead and subscribe. There'll be more stuff to come. But uh, it's been half click up. And, whew, guys. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.